All right. Hey, everyone. Rise near. And Liz. And welcome to Jacksonville Destroys the Patriots. 31-20, but don't, don't think that that score is close. It's not. Uh, if you watch the game, Patriots were really freaking bad in this game. Um, they scored a garbage time touchdown. That's the only reason why it's 31-20. Uh, otherwise, it would have been 31-13. Um, yeah, I mean, a couple of things early on, they got unlucky, like the Jacksonville recovering their own fumble that it gave them a first down miraculously. But, I mean, the game was so lopsided that it doesn't matter. Even if those things go their way, it doesn't matter. Um, it's not... Game's not quite over, but there's like a minute left. It's, it, why I is he throwing? I don't even want to. It doesn't matter. It's first down. Now it's over. But um, yeah, Jacksonville was strangely aggressive when they were up two scores with like two and a half two minutes and a half left. Minutes left throwing yeah. deep downfield. That's very strange clock management. But whatever. Um, yeah, the only guy I thought that was played good was Hogan. He played good. James White was okay. The offensive line was really bad. Um, the Adrian Waddle, uh, they better get Marcus Cannon back because he had the worst game I've ever seen him play. He was bad. Yep. Brady was bad. Um, he wasn't terrible, but he wasn't good. He was bad. Um, maybe mediocre at best, but... He, it's not, he didn't have like a terrible, he didn't throw any interceptions or and he had one fumble, but that was more on Waddle's fault than Brady's fault. The, Waddle just let a guy basically go right by him. It's Jacksonville's um, first time beating New England ever. Yeah, I know. Uh, in the Brady here, I think. I don't think they've ever beaten him before. But um, I told you it'd be the hardest game of the year. Yep. And it was so far. I don't mean two games, but. Um, I'm incredibly disappointed with the defense. Uh, I thought they had fixed the pass rush problems. I was wrong. They have not. Um, they really have to fix this, this pass rush. I mean, I, I'm so tired of watching teams just have 15 seconds to throw the ball. Uh, and unfortunately, it looks like now the pass rush is definitely done because... Uh, they've lost Theatric Wise in this game. Looks like he broke his fingers. I don't know. It didn't look good. Trey Flowers got a concussion. Patrick Chung got hurt. So my guess is what little defense they had is probably done now. So it don't look good. Um, I don't know. They, they got to get a pass rush going. They've, they've got to figure this out. And Eric Rowe, of course is awful and I don't understand how this guy is still on a football team. Period. I don't know how he's the number two I, player. I don't I don't understand. I, I'm sorry, but Eric Rowe is, is one of the worst cornerbacks I've ever seen play. I mean the guy he gets fooled by just looking at him. Yeah, I mean he's bad. He's bad. And you could cover that up with a pass rush, but if it actually works you don't have a pass rush apparently or it's inconsistent. So, I don't know. I mean, when you let when you let uh, Blake Bortles look like Aaron Rodgers, I mean that's a problem. I know. Uh, so, not to say that Blake Bortles isn't a good quarterback. He is, but he's not. He's not that level. But that's what they made him look. And it looks like Denver just won this game, <laughs> playing Oakland. So, almost. Kick the field goal and they'll you win. Kick the field goal and you'll win. But um, yeah, I mean. There's just not much to say about the game. Final score was, was 31-20. Um, it was they, the hottest game at Jacksonville Stadium yeah, in like history. 100. It was 97 with a heat index of like 107. So, so Bear 80's only won one game over 90 ever. So yeah, that's, just, that's one of those stats that really doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it's, it's like when they play in the winter and it's 10 below. I mean, I mean usually, you got to do it anyway. usually wins those games. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just a meaningless stat. That, yeah. That's there until it's not there. Yeah. So I wouldn't, I don't concern myself with weird stats like that. But there was, um, I almost missed that kick. But but um, there was, uh, they had a chance. I mean, Van Noy made an excellent interception that really set them up. And it, it felt like there was going to be a comeback. And then 
It, there wasn't. There wasn't because Brady had the fumble that was Lee Adrian Waddle's fault because he uh, he let Brady get hit on a blind side. Yep. Because he didn't block at all. Yep. And then uh, and then all he had to do was hold hold the guy. I think it was Fowler. All he had to do was hold him away from the ball, and he didn't. He tried, but he failed. <laughs> And so Jacksonville recovered, and then the uh, game kind of got away from there because even though they didn't, I don't think Jacksonville scored in that possession, but they no. punted, and the Patriots looked like they had a first down, but they overturned the spot, had to punt. The Patriots drew a guy off sides. I, I don't understand why that wasn't a neutral zone infraction because it certainly looked to me like a neutral zone infraction, but the game was such a blowout. It doesn't matter, you know. Um, yeah, there was that. There was that challenge on that ball spot that was whatever. But it's well, like, I mean, it would have made a difference. It, have, it would have made some difference, but it, but you still probably lose the game because of how bad you're playing. Yeah. So, I, I don't think it's it, it would have made all that much of a difference, really. Um, and then of course you had the last touchdown throw where. The defense decides to just let a guy go crossing the field on a slant route. Um, last time that happened, I remember that was the Green Bay game when Darrell Revis just looked at Jordy Nelson, running right by him. Yep. Um, so there's a lot to address in this in this game. Uh, I mean, for this team. I mean, they they play Detroit next. Uh, in a Sunday night game. I don't know if that's at Detroit or not. It is. It's at Detroit. Well, wow, okay. Detroit is the team that you beat up on, so in theory, the good news is is that they should. for the Patriots, the Lions should have absolutely or should be demolished in that game. Yeah, in theory, but if they play like this, they won't be. No. So you got to fix the pass rush. I, I think the Patriots need to look for some sort of cornerback option. I mean, and I don't know what receiver. I don't, I don't know what you can do, but. Well, the receiver problem will be addressed come week four. You just got to get, get or week five. You just got to make it to when Adam comes back. Dorsett's played okay. He actually played good in this game. Yeah, he was all right. He was pretty good. But you need you need a better corner option, and you or you need a pass rush. You've got to do one of the other two things. You got to do one of those two things. So I don't know. I don't know what they're going to be able to do. I really don't. Um, they should have addressed the cornerback issue in the offseason, and they didn't. And they instead tried to address the pass rush issue, and evidently failed, because uh, I don't know where Claiborne was in this game, but I he guess he's non non-existent, and that's a problem. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens with the Lions game, but I, it felt like they were going to get demolished. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't, wasn't. Wasn't ple present, pleasant. Pleasant. Um, I mean, you can only ask Brady to do so many miraculous comebacks. So sooner or later, he's going to lose one. Trying to come back, and this was one of those days. So, it is what it is. At least we didn't. At least, at least we're not the Packers that tied, or the, or the Steelers that are now. Uh, what are they? Oh, one and one. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Now the Browns or were Pittsburgh. Oh, um, one and one. This game could have seeding implications, by the way. We'll see. We'll see. If Jacksonville wins 13 games again, that could be a problem. Hopefully, the best thing for the Patriots is if the Titans, the Texans, or the Colts win that division. And I think that's very possible for any of those four, any of the three teams to it win could. that division. It could. I know Houston's 0-2 right now, but I, they are still a solid team on paper. And Indy's been playing well, and Tennessee has played well. So Jacksonville could lose that division. But we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, I guess oh, that's enough for now. Patriots lose, 31-20. And that sucks. <laughs> sucks even when Ryan Allen can't even punt right. Yep. <laughs> oh, well. It happens. All right. Take care.